I think virtual reality is going to be a new revenue stream. And I think you're going to be selling people subscription packages. I mean, you're going to be selling people packages at different levels. We're going to see that not only as opportunities to uh, provide fans with new ways to engage and participate in sports, but it's going to create multiple tiers of new revenue streams that in some ways we really haven't even begun to you know, to figure out high level opportunities, you know, to be courtside or to have inside access, some lower cost opportunities to maybe be, you know, in, in the balcony. There are going to be, you know, ads running, um, you know, within the, in the streams. Are there going to be uh, sales opportunities, not only during games, but during practices and, you know, other uh, experiences, uh, traveling with the team on the plane to the game, whatever it might be. I think virtual reality, again, is going to be one of these things where there might be some resistance that it could cannibalize the in stadium experience. Why am I going to go pay to be at the next game when I could sit in my living room and feel like I'm there with the headsets on. The realization is there are some people that are just not going to come to the game. Some people can't afford to go to the game. Some people are too far away to go to the game. Some people hate crowds, uh, you know, whatever it might be. Maybe a little generational too in terms of, you know, who's going to be more comfortable with the, the VR setup and be drawn to something like that. But instead of um, thinking about those engagement opportunities as cannibalizing the in-stadium experience, I think they're ultimately going to be additive.